hello in this video I'll be talking about the putty software uh, which is mainly useful while you're working on the Linux server so just to clarify over here that putty is not a software which is only used by the Oracle DBA it can be used by the Unix guys or uh, the Hadoop developer and the people who are mainly working on the top of Linux server so just for the administration purpose you will need a putty software which is freely available and you can download it uh, uh, just by googling on how to download uh, just by googling on the uh, site saying download putty software and you will get a lot of links and by using that link you can download the putty software free of cost because it's a freeware software so by using the putty you can connect to the oracle database server or any linux server so i'll be talking about few settings configuration which are really needed and because of that only you can connect to the putty software you can save your session and all those things we are going to see in this video with the practically so let us start i have a uh, oracle server uh, you can see over here it's a vmware and inside the vmware i do have one linux server let me check it's a linux server if i just want to check uh, it is a 64 bit linux server el5 it is using and let me check the release also so currently it's uh, using red hat linux 5.6 version i'm going to connect this server by using the putty and the putty is already installed in my system so first of all we need to check the ip address in order to check the ip address we have the command ifconfig here you can see it is using the ip address 192.168.0.55 and it's a static ip address if you want to know how to change uh, the ip address and how we can set the stat static ip address what is the difference between static and a dynamic ip address everything has been uh, i have explained in another video you can go uh, with that video as well here you can see the it is using the sta static ip address and it's uh, 192.168.0.55 now i have a putty software which is installed in my windows 7 machine i'm just opening it what you can do over here you just need to type the ip address 192.168.0.55 55 i hope the same ip address yeah and just click on the open button so initially it will take some time to connect to the virtual machine and there are few settings that we need to done so that it will connect to the few uh, it so that it will connect to the vmware machine directly i have already done that part so i just need to run restart session let us go to the duplicate session so that it will open the same session in another window okay now it's connected in my system it is taking some time so sorry for that so i'm closing all those previous session which are not required here it is asking me the username i'm keeping the username as oracle and the password for that okay once you are done you can access your linux server from the putty itself putty is a software which is really good if you want to copy paste it is really easy the same thing i am going to tell you here you can see the font size is very small if you want to change the font size what you can do go to the here the session is open and you can see all those things which you can do from the terminal everything can be done with the help of putty only so there are some settings that we need to perform and that are going to be explained here if you want to open the same session in the another terminal let's say you are working on two different part on the same server and you need both the sessions to be from the same server what you can do without just click over here and click on duplicate session here you can see it has connected to the same ip address next thing is if you want to change the font of this terminal you can just go over here 
then click on change setting once it is done you just need to click on windows and he, here change font setting when maximize just click on here apply here you can see now the screen is looking perfect and you can see all those concept clearly next thing is if you just go to the change setting part there are few more things just click on the windows and if you are in a situation where you need uh, the color of the putties to be different what you can do just click on windows and here you can see there are few options uh, like let me check over here uh, maybe in some different part it is here just click on colors and use system color here you can get the white color next thing is let me go to the change setting now there are many things that uh, we have done on the putting N now if i'm just closing this session all those changes will not be saved what you can do in the initial part itself you can save this session before that i will just tell you some of the settings which is available in the ssh ssh and these things are mainly useful when you want to open the gui with the help of putty by default you cannot open the gui let's say you are running run installer or dbca or other utilities where you need a gui to be open by using the putty you cannot directly do it so we need additional softwares to be installed and for that we need to enable the x11 forwarding let me open the same session in another terminal and i will tell you how we can uh, save this session just go to the putty one more time enter the ip address 192.168.0.55 and whatever the changes we have done on the putty configuration that we are going to save it so first of all go to the windows change font setting when maximize next thing is if you want to enable the x11 forwarding you can do it from here itself but at this point at this, uh, this is not required for us ne next thing is just go to the color and use system color if you want to make some changes like if you need some different color apart from white you can do it from here itself and once it is done or uh, everything is done uh, you can also save all those logs i mean to say if you are typing something and you want to uh, save all those logs in the notepad file you can do it from here just go to the login and you just need to provide the path and if you just want to save everything on the desktop write the name as note.txt or anything here it should be node.txt and save it and it should be a printable output so that if you are doing anything it will be recorded over there once it is done don't forget to go to the session give the name like putty session and just click on save so everything all the configuration what you have done on the putty part are now saved and you can see putty session will be the part from here so next time you can just load from here itself and just click on open let me open in duplicate session because sometimes it will not connect okay now it's perfect oracle and oracle let me open the putty session now one more time here you can see the putty session is the part of save session now now if you just open this just by double click everything will be there here now if you check properly you will find whatever the settings you have done on the putty part we have not to do one more time it will be saved like this so this is all about the putty putty is a really good software when you want to do a server kind of work you can perform from here itself 
one more thing which I want to highlight over here let's say we have some files ls-lrt I'm just checking how many files are there so at this point there are no files let me go and do something from here cd slash backup okay here also no files cds data here you can get some files now if I want to just copy this folder or copy any file we just need to double click and it will get copied in order to paste it just right click here you can see it has pasted so copying and pasting part is really easy in the putty let's say this is a big name and you just need to copy it so double click on it and right click it will get pasted and because of that only putty is really good software which is mainly useful for the oracle database administration and for the db also you can find there are many times putty will be uh, in use on for the daily administration part thank you so much if you have any queries again you can comment over there bye bye for the day